Hey guys, how you doing? Jake here. It's a lovely Friday night. 10 p.m. right now, my time, during the recording of this video. And uh, I got more. I got another beer review. I got another beer review. I just got to. I just got to. I bought it, so I just got to. There we go. Look at this. This is the Cream or Springs Traditional Pilsner. A nice looking. A nice looking can. Creamy looking. A creamy white, creamy eggshell colored can sort of deal, I guess. Yeah. Let me give you a quick rundown here. Sorry to be so close to the camera, but. <laughs> okay. Um. Creamore Springs Brewery Limited since 1987. It says that uh, Pilsner was first made back in 1842 by the Bohemian Bohemians. They used special pallet. Sorry. They used special pale malt and a whole bunch of hops to create a delicious, refreshing golden beer. Up here in Creamore, we fire brew our Pilsner. The same traditional way, using only four natural ingredients, starting with our own clear, flowing spring water. It's our fresh take on a traditional Czech Pilsner. A hundred years behind the times. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And this is uh, from, uh, yeah, Cream Moore, from Ontario. 5.3% ABV. And it's uh, all natural. And it's... Uh, 4.73 milliliters. Let's crack her open and see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not much of a psh, but a little one. Gotta go with the Samuel Adams glass. It's the coolest glass I got, I think. Oh, not bad. Whoa. <laughs> not good for pouring cans into, I guess. Just bottles. Ah. I'll get a little bit of a head on that fella. There, have a gander at that. It, uh, basically it's, uh, blonde. It's a blonde, you know, pretty much blonde colored. Well, no, it's, it's, the lighting is not the greatest in here, like right over top of you, but it's, it's a little darker than a blonde, than a, than a typical blonde lager. It's, yeah, it's got a little bit of, of a golden, golden color in it. It looks on the camera, it kind of looks... Yeah, yeah, it's, kinda, it's pretty close. It's kind of got a golden, a light yellow goldenish color. Pretty much. Let's have a snort. Hmm. Hmm. Well... Not heavy on the nose, but uh, yeah, there's a. It seems like it's malt. It seems like the prominent uh, aroma is its maltiness. Uh, that's what I'm picking up myself. Uh, can't really pick up any hops. Uh, very, very mild, anyways. A little bit of a, a quite a bit of malt aroma to it, and, and a little, a little sweetness. If you can smell sweetness, can you really? Can you smell something? Yeah, I guess okay, you probably could. Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, I'll taste it for you and let's uh, get on with this here. Let's go. Wow. Well, it's... No, okay, it's not... It's not sweet. It's brisk. It's got a brisk... <laughs> it's got a briskness to it. Uh, probably from the carbonation. After all, after all, we got a we got a pretty nice up down upside down snowstorm going on for you right there. Look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah, nice. Isn't that beautiful? That's cool looking, eh? The old upside down snowstorm looks nice. It looks pretty. Okay, let's have another taste. And it's well, yeah, it's well, well carbonated. Probably a little bit more. Anyways, hmm, 
I taste more hops. I'm tasting more hops in the... Uh, the light might be a little too bright. There we go. I'm tasting a little bit more hops in the uh, in the in the taste uh, than than I did pick up in the aroma. There is a, there is some hop flavor to it. It's a uh, I'm just trying to think of what other beer it's similar to. Another fruit fly. Where did he come from? I haven't seen a fruit fly in weeks now. He just came out of nowhere. Must have been hiding somewhere. Anyways. Um, well, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. Uh, I keep thinking that it, it, it's a little bit like the, um, hmm. It's tasting similar, very similar to a Labatt's Blue, um, a Labatt Blue Pilsner sold here in Canada. But, uh, I'm thinking it's probably a little bit better, maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking that it's, I mean, I've had a lot of Labatt Blue, so I mean, I certainly know what that tastes like. This has got a little bit more character to it than a Labatt Blue. The, the, the blue Pilsner is, is just is more lighter in flavor and not so... This has a little bit more character to it. You can, you can actually taste some of the hops and, and it's got the slight bit more, slight, a slight bit more malty, a maltiness to, the, to it than the, than the blue Pilsner. Yeah. Not really picking up anything else, personally. I almost wonder if there's maybe a bit of a... Is there like a bit of a, a vanilla flavor maybe or something? It's not, I'm picking up something. Maybe it's just maybe it's just the way it's made and it that's kind of... It has a slight creaminess to it. Maybe that's... It could be a, a slight vanilla flavor in there, but it could be just the creaminess uh, kind of tricking me. Hmm. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's a very, it's quite a very good beer. It's not bad at all. It's great. It's, it's very, it's, it's one of, you know, it tastes a little bit like a commercial beer. I mean, it's kind of got a commercial taste to it, but it's a little bit more than that. I mean, it's got more, it's got more character than, than some of the commercial beers that I've had, whether it be Pilsners, Ales, or Lagers, but it's, um, it's, it's quite a nice beer. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind that at all. I, I can handle that. And there's and it's not there's nothing really overpowering nothing, no off flavors. The aftertaste of burps oh there's a there's a burp and that tastes great. <laughs> there's nothing there's no bad uh, like aftertaste or anything like that. Well, you know so. Eh. Hmm. Shoot. Now this comes to the hard part. It's trying to give this a little uh, my own personal rating because I'm not sure what kind of go between. Every time I think this, I, I, I have to say, well, I'm going to have to go between. It's not quite a four out of five for me, but it's a little more than a three, three and a half out of five. So if, I guess, I guess I'm just going to say it's a 3.75 out of five. I guess I'll have to go in between, guys. It's 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 quite a good beer. You know, not amazing, but yeah, you know, it's good. It's very good. It's very good. And uh, that's about all all there is to say. So, thank you very much. For, for stopping by, I'll let you go now, and that's the Creamore Springs, uh, traditional Pilsner, and I do have, I have the other one, or the other one that's available to, available to us, in the fridge, and it's the, um, the Creamore Springs, what is it, lager or something like that? Anyways, you'll see in the next review, it's another Creamore one. Thanks for stopping by, keep your mugs full, and I'll see you later. Cheers.